welcome to my channel grateful creations well we're going to do a colossal cell pour tonight this is a 16 by 20 gallery wrapped level 2 canvas i find these canvases really nice to work with i i mean i do like the level three as well but i find that these are easier if you want to um do any resin on them so my colors tonight Actually, this is a couple of colors, but it's a uh, golden teal, and I put just a dab of the iridescent green blue by Pepio. Uh, I had to thicken and thin and thicken and thin to get the right consistency. This, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is uh, dioxazine purple, I think. Yes, and I think there's just a tiny bit of white in it. Yes. This is Liquitex Aqua, Bright Aqua Green, and I also put some titanium white in it. This is, hmm, what is this? There's some um, turquoise by Thalo Totka. Thalo Turquoise by Golden, and um, I think I mixed, that was my ocean blue that I mixed with the Thalo Green and Ultramarine. Yes. Okay, so here we go. I am all leveled here. I'm going to pour down some white. This is Artist Loft, soft body white, with a little bit of water and some Trail. Okay, so let's just pour some down. I'm going to move it around with a spatula. down first. Oh, I just, <laughs> oh, leave it to me. tilt it out a bit. I might swipe it. I might not. I'm not sure. I see some pretty interesting things happening. Some of the colors are mixing really pretty. Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Again. Oh my goodness. All right. Whoa, Wilbur. There's always a whoa, Wilbur in it. <laughs> okay. So, I straight almost. Now I'm going to take this and swipe through here. Oh, 
I swipe too much. I'm going to tilt it again. Ooh, I like what's happening. So we're gonna be using silicone on this pour. And what I wanna do, I, I, I use Helmar silicone. It's from Australia. I'll put a link to the eBay um, site where you can get it. And am I happy with that? I'm not sure. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so this, Ugh. This has like a very thin point. Some of the other um, containers that have a different point, like like that, they don't work as well. Um, I find, and I'm going to errantly put down. part so these are going to grow quite a bit um, you can choose wherever you want to put them and several colors will come up like it, you can put some more down. Now, is that where I, I don't know if I swipe that or not. Let me swipe a little bit of teal on there. I think I was just a little heavy handed with my palette knife. This torch. The paint does have to be a little bit thicker than a pearl pour. start the bot with the bottom with dar the darker colors and then work your way up to the lighter colors it brings up the uh, the cells better so anywhere there's teal you're gonna get all the colors but this looks really interesting over here And you can use a blow dryer on this. Let's see how she does. 
the blow dryer there. So there we go. Yep, I like it. Those are going to do absolutely nothing because there's no color under there besides the. But look what's happening, it's moving. Oh my gosh, look at that. What you can do with the cells too. Pretty. Oh, I like what's happening here. Very cool. character right there. All right, I think I should leave it. What do you guys think? Maybe one more? So Sarah Mack has done one of these and it was really special. It was uh, 
the C, um, I'll link it in the, the description. It was a collaboration she did. All right, I'm gonna put it on time-lapse and see if it, it develops anymore. I'll be back. All right, guys, so I've got this beautiful thing going on here, and I have canvas that I don't care for, and I'm going to dip it, but before I dip it, I am going to do a little pour here. waste, right? This white mix is acting like a pro mix. It's so weird. Look at it. Okay, so take this. that down. Oh, the paint's coming out of the side here, so let's see what we get. I think Molly just did one of these. Oh, she did, and I remember what she did too. She did this to get the edges. Molly is going to be in the fab. And I'm excited. She's in West Palm Beach. Amazing artist. Yeah, that worked. Jeez, thanks, Molly. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I like it. That's where I pushed too hard. But now I'm going to give it a nice little torch. I'm actually loving this a lot better than what was underneath of it. Oh, you know, it's right down to the canvas here. Let me just dip my hand in here and just do this. Oh, there's lots of paint here, duh. Okay, cool. I didn't, don't have a, a water bucket tonight. Yeah, I like it. Just grab a paper towel. I hate using paper towels. There we go. Now I have it all covered. And let me give it a torch. Fiona would be proud. <laughs> this one's for you, Fiona. She does dips like nobody. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. It might even, um, oh, there's a spot there that didn't get any. Oh gosh, I'm not left-handed. Did I ruin it? This is kind of a mistake, but not bad now. Whoa, Wilbur. <clears throat> All right, stop. <laughs> I can't stop. That's it, that's all. <laughs> God. All right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this twofer. I'm going to take you down for a close-up on both. I'll be back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm back on my tippy toes. So, this is one of the techniques I will be teaching at the Fluid Art Boutique. And if you come, give you the secret ingredient to making this work besides silicone <laughs> yeah it turned out pretty look at that right there oh so I mixed a lot of techniques in here um, but I'm very happy with the result and I did one yesterday and um, it did not work out too well because the paints were too thin. So we'll see how this dries and I will show you both of them when they are both dry and you'll see the difference. So that's that one and our little twofer here. This is the dip I did with the drips that were left and it turned out pretty. Now, I sh probably should have had a little bit more paint on the edges, but um, yeah, it worked out nice. A lot of depth. That's where I added a little bit on the corner. And right there too, there was a bald spot, so I didn't want any bald spots. Look at that though, isn't that crazy? Ugh. I love this one and it, the piece I, that's underneath the hair it didn't have enough um, contrast so this is a much improved piece now when I have the auction on the 24th there will be prizes so please stop by it is to benefit Ukraine August 24th is Ukraine's Independence Day so that'll be at 7 30 p.m. And I hope to see you at the Float Art Boutique as well. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now.